And let's wrap things up today with our boy, Ron Rivera, being released from his duties in Carolina. He's now uh, available to the rest of the league. And I guess the question is, as a Bears fan, is should I feel like we should bring him <laughs> back? Now as our head coach, let me, let me asterisk that. Oh. Could come back as head coach. Depends on how you feel about Matt Nagy. I, I don't know that I need to move on from Matt Nagy yet. Uh, okay. But Riverboat Ron would be fun to have in the in the in the circle. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you give him the head coaching out the gates, but I think that uh Ron Rivera back running our defense would be nice. I mean, look, this year hasn't been bad. We've 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 played well enough on the defensive end, but I think it could get better. And I think as we're gonna lose some talent, uh it's gonna look a lot worse and we're gonna see the more true impact of having a different coord- a different coordinator on there. Uh, but I don't know. I, I think my question really to you, Ricky, is Ron Rivera's available. Do you think there's a chance the Bears get him back? I think there is. Ooh. I think there is. And the reason why is I've got this coming from CBS Sports, but I'm reading off of Bear- Bears Wire. Yeah. The former Chicago player, Chicago Bears player and defensive coordinator – Yep. Rivera is reportedly interested in two landing spots that aren't projected to have openings. Oh. According to CBS Sports' Jason LaCanfora, one of those landing spots would be the Bears. Here's mm. the CBS Sports clip. The two positions that would most closely appeal to Rivera yep. on a personal level, yep. according to several sources who know him well, yep. would be the Chargers... With a chance to return to his Southern Californian roots. Yeah. Or the that. Bears where he played and coached. Here's the big question. Yep. I don't think you fire. I don't think the Bears are going to fire Chuck Pagano just to bring in Rivera as DC. I don't think Ron Rivera wants to be downgraded. Mm. There's going to be plenty of like. like. Do I, you think he did a good job in Carolina? Yeah, I think so. Really? If Cam Newton didn't break, like, he led them to a Super Bowl, Dave. And if Christian McCaffrey was, like, a couple years older and was born a couple years sooner, Mm -hmm. they probably would have won that Super Bowl. Could you imagine that Super Bowl with this year's Christian McCaffrey? Not fair. Ooh. Ooh, Peyton Manning don't have a Super Bowl. Um, And, I mean, that's the big thing. He got them to a Super Bowl. Cam Newton was the, like, that Super Bowl demise and destruction wasn't Ron Rivera's fault. Yeah. It was Cam Newton's fault. And the defense in Carolina has never been bad. I mean, it helped when you had Josh Norman. Yeah. And when you had um, uh, Luke Keekley out there playing linebacker. Like, yep. they had a good squad out there. So it's like, with me, it's intriguing. And the big thing the Bears have to ask themselves and fans have to ask themselves is, is, it t- is year two... Too early to move on from Matt Nagy. And I know the analytics are going to say, go with an offensive-minded coach yep. over the defensive, but I'm just going to throw this out there. Tennessee is a defensive head coach, and Mike Vrabel, they're they're doing pretty well. Who's their offensive coordinator? Their offensive coordinator is, oh, I know this. Um, it's somebody that, shit. Um, I know this because I've looked it up numerous times. Uh, he is not known in my sense. Like Matt Lafleur. No, right? that was last year. Oh, last year. This year is um, Arthur Smith. Oh, I clicked on little the top link, year. and that yeah. was from January. So Matt Lafleur yeah. was there, but I'm talking about this year. Gotcha. Arthur Smith is their defensive. Our oh, offensive vacated when Matt Lafleur left for for gotcha. Green Bay. Yep. yep. So yeah, Matt Lafleur was. But yeah. last year's Titans team wasn't as good. But yet again, Marcus, Marcus Mariota, Mariota Ryan feel, Tannehill. Marcus Mariota couldn't feel his fingers. Yeah. Like he has Ryan weird Tannehill injury. though playing up. Yeah. And like Arthur Smith, where he has been is basically He was a tight end coach previously. He's a Titan. Like he he's been with the Titans since twenty eleven. Yep. So that's how long he's been there. Yep. Um and it's like do you see the success they're having this year? You don't necessarily need a offensive mind. I mean, you know, people are going to throw out the uh, Bill Belichick with him yep. being a defensive minded coach. As long as you got a good OC and you're kind of together with what you're going to do, you can make it work. You can definitely make it work in this league to where I'm not saying you push the button, but I think it's intriguing. And if you're not happy with Matt Nagy, this might be a good, like Ron Rivera and the Bears would be a great marriage. 
And I think it's a coach that Bears fans would get behind. Oh, we'd, we'd be attached behind. to him instantly. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I was trying to sneak him in here as a DC and, you know, set him up to take over the reign <laughs> yeah. once Nagy gets kicked out. Do you think he'd because... want that, though? Or would he take a Cleveland job? Take a Jacksonville job? As That's a head most coach? likely going to be open. Yeah. I think he could do some damage in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I think he could try to right the ship because he has such a great experience as a player mm-hmm. and then as a co or as a DC, then as yeah. a head coach. Like he has the lineage you want. He has mm-hmm. all the experience you want. And I think like as far as his personality would fit really well in trying to get Cleveland back on track. Jacksonville, I don't know. It wouldn't be bad. It, it's just I don't know where the franchise is really at. They feel like they're just kind of stuck in the middle. Mm-hmm. I would love for him to come to Chicago, though. But I don't know if I'm. I don't know if the Bears are ready to give up on Nagy. I don't think as a front office he's going to be kicked out of town this off season for Ron Rivera. Well, that's that's, get, that's, that's giving up basically. And yep. I don't think like I don't think you want. I think Mitch is here next year, so mm-hmm. you got to keep Nagy here next yeah. year. And I don't see Ron Rivera taking a year off. Do you? I don't. I think he. Saw, I think he takes a job. And the biggest like the biggest question for me is. Would he basically take a demotion mm-hmm. and for a year, not take a year off, but for a year, basically, basically say, I'm going to take the demotion and be a DC. I don't think he does that. No. Like how many code? It's like, it would be like saying, Hey, I made it to the, I made like, it to if the you want NBA. To be your head coach. Just make him your head coach. Exactly. Don't, don't um, play the game. It's like what the Lakers are doing. Hey, we're going to make Frank Vogel the uh, head coach, but just in case you mess up, we got Jason Kidd here. Yeah. Um, in case we need to fire but Frank you. Vogel's been doing uh, a great job. He's been doing a good job um, with the Lakers this year. But I mean, they are the best team in basketball. The thing, if people are out there thinking, yeah, but Ricky, it is a worry. The league is going more offensive. Yeah, Just, that's, that's what you do. You pair a young quarterback with a young offensive core, uh, a young offensive minded coach who was also the special assistant to the head coach and the offensive coordinator in Carolina, Norv Turner. A, a really good offensive coordinator. Yeah, the never, guy, never should be a head coach again, but a but great offensive coordinator. Some of the best Viking years. Yep. Norv Turner was our OC. Yep. And so it's like some of the best as, success out of Philip Rivers. As Norv long Turner. as as long as you find yep. the right guy to be that OC. Yeah. Ron Rivera could work. I agree. And like for Chicago, Mark Helfrich is not that guy though. No, he's not. He's not really. And I mean, for the thing is with the with the um the Bears. It's let's push Ron Rivera to the side. Sure. When's the tipping point for Matt Nagy? Is it after next, next year? year? Yeah. It, so it's, after next year, he and Mitch Trubisky line up. Okay. I think that's what it is. It's just one goes, the other's going too, and that's that's the thing. If we, and I know this year's not even over yet, mm-hmm. and I'm already gloom and doom, but if we don't hit the ground running next year, both are done mm-hmm. with our organization. Like that's okay. it's that simple. I don't think we keep the experiment going for longer. You know what you got, and you don't like it. And your defense was good enough to win, but you couldn't put it together offensively. So let's move on and let's keep going forward. Let's don't don't hold up progress just because you want to you know try to see if doing it a different way for the third time, mm-hmm. fourth, and then just go, just move on. Because he signed a Nagy signed a five year contract with the Bears. Yep. And it, it almost comes down to the same thing of... I don't believe contracts mean anything anymore. Well, it, they and don't. here's the thing of, do you go with the mindset you said about the Bulls earlier on? Yeah. Like, if Maggie ain't working... If, Maggie. And if Nagy... <laughs> Matt and Nagy. Maggie. Yeah, Maggie. Um, if Nagy ain't working, yep. does it matter to give him another year? Or it just says, do you take the same mindset you just said with the Bulls where it's like, fuck it, it ain't working this year. Let's get Ron Rivera in. Or are the Bears a different situation because of the success of last year? Surprise success I of think last that, year. I think last year's success, going all in on the defense and Cleo Mack, mm-hmm. it, it, it lines up better to move forward after next year. Okay. If they pull the trigger this year, I would be shocked. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be disappointed, though. Like I think Ron Rivera would be a great head coach again, and I think he's going to hit the ground and be fine no matter where he lands. Mm-hmm. But I'd be shocked if the Bears as an organization moved on from Matt Nagy this offseason. You know, that that's my mm-hmm. big deal is I think he has still got one year in him. I think Ryan Pace still, same thing. We talked about clearing him out as well. It's Are you going to let him draft the next future quarterback after him, you know, 
ignoring other potential picks that year because he was so enamored with Mitchell Trubisky and his potential. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know what? It doesn't sound great, but that that's the situation. If if Pace is there, then Nagy's there, and if Nagy's there, then Mitch is there. Yeah, and and that whole chain can get chopped off at the head, and we could mm -hmm. have Ron Rivera and anybody else, and I'd be fine with it. I, mm -hmm. Whatever direction they go at that point, I'd be happy with. But realistically, we're stuck with Matt Nagy, Pace, and Mitch for one more season. Then let me ask you this. Yeah. Ron Rivera, let's say he's not with the Bears. Yep. Where is he? Because out of the openings, I personally think yep. could be up at the end of the year. Throw him out there. Freddie Kitchens deserves to get canned. No argument. Like, you, you're not making it work. You, we give you OBJ, Jarvis Landry, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, and I know Kareem Hunt wasn't there the whole time, but now you have him great. on the field. Yeah. Um, and you're mustering OBJ's a team. OBJ's trying to get out. <laughs> yeah, basically. You're incompetent as a head coach. You're almost like the Jim Boylan of the NFL in my mind. Yeah. Um, he's one. Yep. Jacksonville could be another one because they've had a down season this year. Um, but let's see. Again, injuries of your quarterback. Mm -hmm. you know? Injury Look, of the quarterback and then the I benching the of the quarterback. I love the stash, but mm -hmm. you know what? The hey, we're gonna go back to Nick Foles. Oh wait, we're gonna bench him for Gardner Minshew. Oh, that was a train wreck, but yeah. I loved it. Like it, dude, that I was love a... seeing it because Gardner Minshew sure. almost won them that game. Minshew is so good at football, like, and his stash, his personality, everything about him screams mm -hmm. winner at life. So mm -hmm. I, it, it, I like the team, but I think I would take the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. I take the, I'll take the dumpster pile because I think I can make it better. Okay, so you got the Browns, you've yep. got the Jaguars. Yep. Um, the Giants, Pat Shermer could be gone. Um, That'd after be an two one, years got, with the Giants, they've got the right building blocks. They've mm -hmm. got their quarterback of the future. They've got their running back of the future. And I believe Ron Rivera and Dave Gettleman and have, a have a connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be bad. Their defense is tolerable. They've got again, they've got a couple pieces in the mm -hmm. right places. So not the worst situation to walk into. And the only other one is Atlanta. That's in the same division that the Carolinas in. Atlanta's in a tricky position. I mean, they've got a defensive coach right now in Dan uh, Dan Quinn. I almost said Dan Smith. Um, <laughs> Dan Quinn. Yeah. So it's not like you're having too much of an influx of like uh, mentality. You're still bringing in a right. defensive coach. It's just funny how far they, how fast they fell off. Uh -huh. This is a team that was in the Super Bowl a couple yep. years ago. That's what happens when Tom Brady beats you. Yep. Shadow Realmed. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't understand how you can have that much talent on the field and be mm -hmm. so bad at football yeah. when it comes time to play. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a question. That that feels like a Jim Boylan situation. Well, no, because we're not that good. Yeah, well, Jim um, Boylan would actually have to make an NBA Finals first. No, but I mean, like, no, 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 I'm not saying in the game. I'm saying, like, the season's after. Oh, okay. Like, what happened to this team after? Mm -hmm. You had a great core on defense. You had amazing offensive weapons. And you just can't put two and two together. Mm -hmm. So, like, the Falcons, I don't know, like, is how old's Matt Ryan? Is he 30? He's getting up there. Five? Uh, I'll look it up. Because I know yeah. defensively, they like, Keanu Neal for two straight years has been injured. And it's yep. like, oh, man. Yeah, you're not um, going to get. Last year, he's 34. Okay. He'll be 35 in May. Dope. I, I feel good about that. Um, <laughs> Dave, dope. I was right. Yeah, I feel like that's a team where you've got one more window. You know, mm -hmm. you've got a couple more years under Matt Ryan. You got Julio Jones. You've got uh, Ridley. You've got Devonta Freeman. Amounts of talent on that offense. Defensively, you have to put a scheme together to make it work. And I get what you're saying about the injuries. I don't and know and Matt one. Ryan is locked up under contract. Yeah. Do you know how old he is when he's going to be an unrestricted free agent? 38. 39. 39. So his last year will be 2023 yeah. if he plays out the contract with the Hawks or with the Falcons. He, he's he got I'm thinking Atlanta. I'm thinking yeah. Hawks. <laughs> I, w I would say next year he's fine. The year after that he's fine. Question mark. Yeah. I the thing that one I'm more getting, year than draft somebody. So in my comment sections, whenever I talk about the Hawks, yeah, not the Hawks, the Falcons. You keep saying God, Hawks. At least I'm getting the right city. Yep. Um, but the Falcons. Yeah. Is I asked them a question the mm -hmm. last time I talked about them was like, is the Matt Ryan rumors for real? What do you guys oh, feel? On. Yeah, like trading them because yep. that's what I was seeing on Twitter. Yeah. And a lot of people were like. No, nah, I don't believe them. It's just people that are mad we got rid of Vic. <laughs> like, that's all it is. Yeah. Um, but, hey, 34 years old, when you're not Tom Brady, that's old. No, I think 34 for a quarterback is still prime. 
Okay. QB, look, look, the average age of the QBs mm -hmm. who have been winning in this league, old. You've got the old crew, and they're falling out. Mm -hmm. I, I will give you, I think I was watching a clip from ESPN, and it was like the top five quarterbacks in the league Tom Brady's by performance old. right now are all young kids. Like Lamar Jackson, uh, Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. Pat Mahomes. Um, is Aaron Rodgers considered old? He is, but he's not even playing like a top quarterback okay. right now. That's the crazy thing. Like, is he one of the best quarterbacks in the league? Yes. He's not mm -hmm. playing like it this season. So that's what I'm saying. Like, those three guys are all under like 27, I think. Um, and there was one more they tossed in there. Oh, like Deshaun Watson playing great. Tannehill's playing great. Like all Lamar these guys. Jackson. He was the first name I mentioned. Oh, literally you? the first. I can't remember that first name. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. Because like, we went on and we talked about um, oh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. That's yeah. who I mentioned. So go ahead, Dave. Again, when all these young guys are playing up right now it makes you excited but at the same time you look at who's been winning championships mm -hmm. you know the old guys it's the old guys so i think matt ryan well the guys that also have teams around them true true but the point is that you know a young quarterback is very good mm -hmm. but you know maybe maybe let's not get too excited about this situation so let's let this play out because i don't think i move on from him yet i think i think he's got one more year before i would even draft a quarterback so what you're telling me is bringing this back to the bears Yep. What they should do if they want to be successful, yep. get rid of Matt Nagy, get rid of Trubisky, bring in Ron Rivera, bring in Phillip Rivers. We'd win more games next year. That's I don't you know could what do our long-term answer would be. If you want but to. That would be like that we're going for it this year. Yeah. And I'd be okay with that. Because like that you're saying like, oh, the, like your pieces are lining up, and I'm like, Phillip Rivers is a free agent. I don't think he leaves. But... You don't think he leaves LA? I think LA doesn't want him back. That's what I think. Really? Mm -hmm. You think they're ready to move on as a franchise? I think they're gonna draft a court. They if they finish top ten, yeah. Justin Herbert's sitting there, I go get him. Spicy. I go get a younger quarterback. Spicy. Philip Rivers is like the guy of that city. I know he's mm -hmm. never won. But that's mm -hmm. not on him. No, it's not. His team like even his this, teams failed even him this year. It's time like, over time over time over time over time over time over time. Speaking over of time, Phillip Rivers, did you see the smack talk time. he had in the Jacksonville game? Uh, where I don't he threw a pass, yep. got knocked on his ass, mm -hmm. and just got up and was like, 90 yard touchdown! Woo! And the guy... He's a fucking and, gamer. And the the DB... Or yeah. not the DB. The defensive lineman who knocked him over is like, hey, man, do, like, d don't do that. Like, uh, He's like, I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. And he's like, no, 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 man. You can celebrate. Just don't do it in my face. And Matt Ryan... Or not Matt Ryan. Phil, Phil Rivers, Rivers is just like cheering and go, woo, right in his yep. face. Towards like, I don't give a shit. Even <laughs> the, the defensive player even goes up to like the ref and he yep. goes... You see, you Taunting. see how number, you see how number seven's acting towards me. Yep. You see in this, like, you see how he's talking to me. Yeah. and everyone's like, "I love Philip Rivers. I love his attitude." The guy wants to win games. He just wants to have <laughs> kids and play football. Is that so wrong? He wants the field of dream. He wants a field, a team of dreams. There you go. And that's a baseball team. There that's you go. That's how many kids he's got. <laughs> I just yeah. <laughs> I, it's dumb, but I think you're right. I would be cool with Nag or with moving Rivera, on from Nagy, getting Rivera, and then, moving on from Mitch, and getting Phil Rivers. You you don't even have to move on. You can just from let Mitch. him play on the bench. You, well, yeah, it's like so. In one of our videos, we did the uh, quarterbacks. Yeah. For the draft with the Bears. Yeah. Um. Someone commented that they would want somebody like bring someone in this year. Yep. Um. To compete with Mitch, and yeah. I replied of like just. Are you thinking vet? Are you thinking rook? Mm -hmm. I wanted to gauge the fan base a little yeah. bit. And he, he said a vet and a rook. Draft a guy like Jacob Beeson. I'm just throwing him out there because that's the name right now that people are saying. Yep. Jacob Beeson, Philip Rivers, and just have Rivers, Trubisky, Eason, fight it out. Whoever gets the job wins. And then you can say Philip Rivers wins the job. He would. He would win that job easily. And they, they would be a better team for it for a year or two. Mm-hmm. But that's all that matters right now. Yeah. We're not trying to build dynasty. Yeah. I we mean, got a defense ready to win now. And if you're thinking, and here, here's another thing that but I'll But the problem is, we would still have the same problem as the uh, Chargers. No kicker. <laughs> Any Pinero. I, look, Pinero's an Any... improvement, but like, I, I don't feel good. Do you? you <laughs> would you feel good with Eddie Pinero as your kicker? I, I would not. Thank you. After that, like, hey, and we got Eddie Pinero here. It's pregame. Oh, no, he shaked it. He shaked it. I Like, if we had clips, Dave, and yeah, we were just the Lepetard show, 
I, I yeah. would work in how to play that pregame clip, just like they do the Seahawk one. Yeah, and the now it's it's new. So Mina Kimes, they have the Seahawk play. Mm-hmm. Now for Sarah Spain, yeah, they will try to work in a double doink because <laughs> they were uh, talking about bears. Yeah, this is totally aside, yeah, um, but I'm gonna bring it up anyways. They were talking about just normal bears, right? Yeah. And Dan's like, could we just play every like bear clip that we've gotten? It's like, it's just here's one. a bear, here's a bear, like actual bears. Oh, okay. um, and then they fit in a, oh, there's the double toy. <laughs> <laughs> Pinera on the season, 16 to 21 field goals and uh, 25 of 27 extra points. Okay. So not the best, not the worst, mm-hmm. but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I just, but you don't think it's going to happen. No Ron Rivera in Chicago. Don't get your hopes up. I feel like we're going to, we made the bet. We're going to, we're going to lie in it. So sorry, Bears fans. I'm, I'm, Dave's I'm like, glass I'm with half you. empty. I, I, I want to move forward with my life and my Bears fandom to a new quarterback who can actually win games. But what kickers are for Mitch Trubisky has been playing well as of late. And I think that that's earned him the right to play another year. So here's your top free agent kickers. You ready for this? Yeah. Mason Crosby, yeah, who's thirty-five. Yep. Adam Venateri, who I believe he's is now 54. injured. Now he's forty-seven. Yep. So he'll be forty-eight. Yep. Um, Fairbarn, who was the uh, he's with the Texans. Yep. Greg Zerline. Ooh. Nick Folk. Yeah. Dan Bailey. Kai Forbath. No. And then it kind of drops off from there. Yeah, it already dropped off. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> I mean. If you bring in Ron Rivera, you got uh, Joey Joey Sly, kicker from Carolina. You can match them up together. I'm, now I'm just fucking yep, pulling nah. strings here. And that's been that's our episode. <laughs> that's, that's a great episode. I love Ron Rivera. Oh. He's a great head coach. Um, is he going to go back to head coaching this year? Probably. Like mm-hmm. this upcoming season? Probably. Uh, 1% chance he goes as a DC somewhere. Uh, maybe as a favor. But. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited to see what he does. And for those of you who are maybe hoping the Bears uh, snag up Terrell Suggs, um, ESPN just said Terrell Suggs considering not reporting if claimed by any team but Baltimore. I didn't know T. Sizzle was coming back. Mm-hmm. Well, he was with Arizona, but they're going to yeah. waive him. I know, but I'm saying like I didn't know like he was going to come back to the Ravens. Yeah, like appara- that's, that's his intention. Apparently, that's his like because I saw an article where it's like could the Bears like should the Bears get. Terrell Suggs. Yeah. Apparently, right now at ESPN, if you're not Baltimore, don't even try because it's the only team he wants to play for. Dang. Makes sense. He's got a connection. There. I get that. Maybe he just wants, hey, let me end this year. Lamar can get me a ring and I can retire. That's exactly <laughs> what he's thinking. That's exactly what like, 200 IQ play. All right. That'll do it. Um, it's been a great episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the Bears, the Bulls, the Cubs talk. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, check us out on uh, iTunes. Uh, Spotify coming soon eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, other listening things like Stitcher. I know that's a thing. Or YouTube. Dave, I know they're that's all a thing. things. Uh, but yeah, that's Ricky Widmer. I'm Dave Oster. I never did an intro to us, so I'll outro us. Have a good day, everybody.